What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Busa GSP. Got another score card reaction for y'all, and you already know what it is. Let's get it. All right, yo, what's going on? Hope everybody's happy, healthy. Everyone's having a good day. Good day. Uh, I'm excited that I've been to this, man. AQ's first time back on the channel since the Land 3 Cypher. We got a lot to talk about. There's a lot to unpack here. And I just kind of want to give some predictions. I want to give some food for thought because I do think AQ is probably the artist in any country that I have the most eyes on for whatever the next thing he drops is. What he did in the Land Cypher 3 has put him in this position that I, I don't envy, but I am glued to. Like, you have no idea. What he did in Lamp Cypher 3 was incredible. He comes out in the Cypher, he destroys it, just goes above and beyond, and he's he's on there with A-listers. It's not like he was like, wait, like, <laughs> it wasn't your cousin's fucking shit that you see down the street that's like, oh, there's one guy there that can rap. Like, no, we're talking about dope-ass artists that came up, and he decided to go and take everyone's lunch. I'm here for that shit, but... What now? What comes next after that? One of two things. There's only two options, right? Number one, he decides, like, AQ is making it very clear. Yo, this is the bar. No cipher. Like, like this This is where it's at right now. We are writing at this level. We're delivering at this level. Like, if you're not doing this, like, get the fuck out of here. Like, this, this is just what it is now, right? Or two... It ends up being a fluke. It ends up being like, yo, there was a lot that was fueling my pen at that point in time. Um, and it's it's lightning in a, you know what I'm saying? Lightning in a jar. So what we're looking for now, not with this, obviously. This came out prior to that. But, like, as far as his next release goes, man, I want to know, did we just see the birth of an absolute fucking monster? Or is this going to be one of those things we all talk about where it's like, oh, that was dope, but it wasn't like, eh, it wasn't the Land 3 jump. Like, what he did in like AQ in the Lamb 3 Cypher was basically the same thing as bringing like a really bad bitch to have a threesome with with your wife, right? Like we love everybody else there at Vibe. That's our wife. Like we married these people. I listen to Black Bones all the fucking time. M's gotten 100 out of 100s. Like these are our people. Shout out to Cannon. Like that's, you know what I'm saying? Like that's wifey. But mm, new girl didn't drop 15 grand on a BBL and be watching Zoom pole dancing lessons all day to get turned up by a crusty ass wife. That's just what happened. You can't be mad at me. That's just what happened on the cypher. So now we're about to dig into some more of his shit. He made a fan out of me. He made a fan out of the GS gang. I can't wait to see what the next thing drops. Let's jump into this. Do me a favor. Run the gauntlet. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. The little bell notification guy. We about to feast, man. Let's go. Uh, so this came out last year. It's not brand new, but it's still new enough. System failure. Let's break it down. Let's see if we fuck with it. Economic theory has failed. I believe that the failure is more profound than generally recognized. things voice notes in the beginning short sweet compact i'm in it doesn't even fall into the category we normally talk to about is it on a playlist or not it was too short it was concise we fuck with it um i like what he said the whole like yo often failure is more profound than like you're given uh like if you the whole time it's not thing like if you fail to make a light bulb a thousand times but on the thousands of one try that's all that matters you only need to succeed one time it doesn't matter how many times that you failed but by us not telling those failures those stories we're missing out on a lot of the, the journey. You're missing out on the entire journey. You're missing out on the entire story that led to that success. And I feel like a lot of that does end up getting lost in history. Those failures tend to be way more profound. I can already feel like I feel like I'm talking too much. Let's go. Economic theory has failed. I believe that the failure is more profound than generally recognized. so strong wait this be kind of crazy too okay now nah, he can't fuck this beat up this this is dope he better kill this shit who gave us the current structure the world is running on 
We must evolve, we need to make a change, there's something wrong There's too much going on to be making those corny songs We fight for equality, but it's the classes that kill us more Rich, middle class, poor, time to take the mask off Burning the poverty, that's something you did not ask for Education is expensive, the price for that right job Then you get sick and die for healthcare you can't afford Money is- Let's go! Alright, hold up <laughs> Hold up Alright, AQ came to eat on this one. That was, this is intense. So this is a serious jaunt. But you know what? I'm glad because the beat, it do got kind of like a heavy, like impactful kind of feeling to the beat. I'm glad he's talking substance and not nonsense on this. This is, this is a good direction. This is a good direction. So now we look at like theme, right? Does the context of the song, the content of the song match the overall vibe and everything like that? I feel like we have some cohesiveness here. This sounds good so far. But hold up, this build up. This whole build up part was nasty. In the poverty, that's something you did not ask for. Education is expensive, the price for that right job. Then you get sick and die for health care you can't afford. Money is white Jesus, the government is your black god. Value added taxes, why they taxing what you buy for? The system isn't helping, the system is made to kill you systematically to reduce population, and they still do. Where I'm from, a deadly disease is a death sentence. To about 85% of his people oh, left shit. defenseless. If they have to kill, why wouldn't they? My whole computer just did some weird shit. Um, hold up. Pull this back. While, while we're on this topic, right? Let me do my let me do my part. Let me do my duty right now, right? If you are in Nigeria specifically, what a time to be listening to this message. Uh, I do believe y'all have the whole voting, everything like that. You have to be on top of right now. I see all the tweets. Those of you got the PVC to go vote and register and everything like that. This is your reminder. If you're watching this and you haven't done that yet, go do it. I don't know what any of that means other than it gives you the right to, to go and vote. I don't know who to vote for. None of that for y'all. But yo... If you don't like hearing music like this, if you don't want to hear shit about the system being fucked up, go out there and vote to correct the fucking system and try to vote for somebody under the age of fucking thousand. I think that's probably our best bet, knowing zero about their policies. Try and get some new blood in there. All right, I'm done with the politics and stuff like that. Let's go. I'm probably not, right? Probably going to end up fucking speaking up at some point. Let's go. What you buy for the system isn't helping the system is made to kill you systematically to reduce population and they still do where I'm from a deadly disease is a death sentence to about 85% of his people left defenseless if they have to kill why wouldn't they give it to you and you can call the doctors but who they gonna bill it to mm. watching a man dying and doing nothing isn't a crime what a design rest in peace see a man dying on the streets nobody calling no police some of us trying some of us go for Hold up, alright, come on, this is about to be a long video, y'all just gonna get sick of me, that's fine. He's given us a lot to talk about. He said, what, it, seeing somebody dying in the street and ignoring them is not a crime. Paraphrased, obviously, hold on, I want the quote. Why wouldn't they give it to you? And you can call the doctors, but who they gonna bill it to? Mm. Watching a man dying and doing nothing isn't a crime. Watching a man dying and doing nothing isn't a crime. Come on, yo. All right, AQ is spitting some shit here. There's, there's, there's so many levels to this. My immediate reaction, right, is how there's this huge inequality. This has been something I've been very passionate about my whole life, is that laws that we are governed by are supposed to be reflective of the morals of society and that they should be a one-to-one, -one, right? Like, here's the things that we value as a society. The rules uh, for or the, the consequences for breaking them should reflect the, how egregious the actions are. And yet, and yet, it, that's not the case. Like, if that's the case, then how, how, is there, how is there a death penalty for anything but not for child molestation? Not for, like, any like any egregious pedophilia, like, none of that shit. They get less time than fucking drug dealers? Like, that's not, there's never been a time where I've looked at the laws of society that says, here's the crime, here's the punishment, and it's matched up with the actual fabric of society that I have known, right? And there's a problem with that, man. Like, to, to watch a man die and do nothing isn't a crime, but you know what is? And then there's just egregiously long list of shit. That's dope, man. That's just dope. Bring it back. There was a couple other points he made at the end here too. Let's let's grab the lines and break them down. He went in on this. Watching a man dying and doing nothing isn't a crime. What a design. Rest in peace. See a man dying on the streets. Nobody calling no police. Some of us trying. Some of us go funding online. Some of us tweet. Some of us have food cannot eat. Some Yo, alright, so 
he's saying you fall into one of a couple categories. Like you see somebody dying in the streets. He said most like some of us are just ignoring them, walking around, minding our own business. I do think that's probably the majority of us. We tend to just like yo. Too many bad things can happen when you start putting your nose in other people's business. It's it's not the compassionate way to to go about life. But at least in the hood where I was raised, that that's real. You know what I'm saying? Like I I never seen somebody go and like check on a homeless person who was laying there and like yo is you good? Like I just I'm not saying that that's not what you should do. I'm saying I've never seen it happen, and I have no intention of doing it either. Like it's just it doesn't seem safe where I'm from. So it's like I I kind of get where he's saying with that. Like that's one mentality. The other thing is you have people who are. What are you saying? Uh, who, who are tweeting online and shit like that? Who are going online, go funding online? Like, yeah, you do have people who are going and trying to do shit with the causes, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. And then the last thing was just tweeting about it. <sighs> I don't know which direction he's trying to go with that, obviously. I'm not AQ, but like to me, like, one is not necessarily more effective than the other. I guess the go funding one is, but like, yo, you being like, man, me tweeting. Ain't poverty a bitch is is just as effective as walking by somebody who's poor and not doing anything about it to assist. Like, it. Ah, this is there's a lot to talk about in this one. What is your favorite point so far from the video? Down in the comments below, please. What part are you walking away with? Because this is a discussion one. I already tell this is gonna be a long one. I need y'all to to give me your two cents. Call the doctors, but who they gon' bill it to? Mm. Watching a man dying and doing nothing isn't a crime. What a design, rest in peace. See a man dying on the streets. Nobody calling, no police. Some of us trying, some of us go fun. Also, bring it back one more time. Fuck you, it's my channel. I'm gonna pull this back as much as I want. Uh, listen to how this starts to become a little sing songy, right? He catches a melody when he when he comes off of the the syllable matchup with um, Diane and isn't a crime. Like how he does that. This is important because anytime that you have these songs that are super conscious, what happens? You listen to them once. You're like, man, things are fucked up. But then they kind of just go on and take. Like you, you don't listen to them again because they weren't catching. It wasn't that reason to go back and revisit it. Unless you're showing somebody else. This is kind of like the same thing like a concept trap. A lot of times they don't come back to it. But when you put these, when you're playing with words like they are, and you start putting these melodies, these different melodies in there, it's just good music theory. It's gonna make the listener want to come back and listen to it more and more and why is that important well this song has substance and they're talking about real shit so we want the listener to come back and listen over and over again for that shit like it's just it's just a dope music theory to point out but let's go about 85 percent of his people left defenseless if they have the cure why wouldn't they give it to you and you can call the doctors but who they gonna bill it to mm. Watching a man dying and doing nothing isn't a crime. What a design. Rest in peace. See a man dying on the streets. Nobody calling, no police. Some of us trying, some of us go funding online. Some of us tweet, some of us have food, cannot eat. Some of us can't eat, have no food. Numbers like a 22 million. Mm. Some of us have food and cannot eat. Some of us can't eat, have no food. Second one. Very, very easy to decipher, right? Some of us out here just ain't got no fucking money. And we're starving because of it. That is a reality. My focus is on the first part, too, though. Some of us have food and cannot eat. So, I think this might be a more strictly Nigerian-type situation. Um, one of the, the instances that happened a lot, in, in my understanding through the music and talking to people from Nigeria, uh, is that there, there's an issue where if you look too wealthy, if you look like you have your shit well too good together, a lot of times you'll get pulled over by the police and harassed because of it, because for some reason there is a connection to being a Yahoo, you know what I'm saying, to being somebody who's a scammer and shit like that, and that they, they're looking to crack down on shit like that. So a lot of times, even if you're doing well for yourself, you can't eat, like eat is metaphorical here, it's where it's like, yo, I might want to go get the flashiest shit in a nice car, blah, 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 but all that's going to do is bring additional negative attention to me. I don't know, that line was dope, let me know what your interpretations of that one were. I hope we get some good conversations on this one. This would be a shame to let this one just die down. Some of us trying, some of us go funding online, some of us tweet, some of us have food, cannot eat, some of us can't eat, have no food. Numbers like a 22 million, none of them lazy youths. Who's gonna cater for these dudes and who's gonna take these kids to school? Some of us break laws to survive and say the system made them do it. Some of us break laws, saves us soon. Mm. All spins out to it, the center cannot help. Overall, fire burst. Fire burst from beginning to end. Let's go. The decay and dissolution. These are dangerous times because politics all around us, it seems to me, is failing. Mm. How can we say we won when we're from different countries? Separated by borders, united by poor policies, united by money, different faces on our currencies.
Making nuclear weapons for destruction on authority You tell me your life matter, I tell you we at war with peace Your race, your culture, the outcome of inequality The blind side of the communists, they bought the working populace They own the ground, you're working on, they're controlling the economy The 1% live in upper lands while we all pretend Motivational speeches, they tell us we should not relent Pray to God and hope on science, they're making things you can't afford A capitalist haven, they sell you what you should not buy at all The program our father Doctor, this is fire. Save lives, but you need food to survive. Still, politicians got the power. You should be paid more if they put in the same hours. Axe got the father one, put more women in power. The concept of money is flawed, and banking is overflowed. They take our paper cash, give us back digital fraud. Too many are unemployed. The future of labor is. Yo, you really, like, this is, this is all out there. Like, I've, bring it back. Let's listen again. This is, yo, this is fire, though. Paid more if they put in the same hours. Axe got the father one, put more women in power. The concept of money is flawed and banking is overflowed. They take our paper cash, give us back digital fraud. Too many are unemployed. The future of labor is void and robust. Is that like an anti-crypto joint? I don't know. Taking our jobs, the cops are killing our boys. Bitch, I can give Flawed and banking is overflowed. They take our paper cash, give us back digital fraud. Too many are unemployed. The future of labor is void and robots taking our jobs. The cops are killing our boys. Bitch, like it, giving the voice. They leave our women no choice. The climate is being destroyed. The environment is poison. Disease is killing the people. Pharmaceuticals overjoyed. The whole system's a failure. I pray you give it your voice. But you gotta keep 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 notice on something, right? There's a few things to, to, to like point out. Listen to how hopeful and uplifting the I, I don't it's not even really considered an ad lib, I think it's just part of the beat at this point. But like listen to the chorus, the choir that's like in the background, it's all uplifting and shit. Like then he's listing a bunch of shit that's like shitty, right? Like there's no way of getting around it. It's less than ideal. Let's put it that way. It's less than ideal, wherever you're at, whatever your situation is. I don't think that there is a I've never heard of somebody that's just like I love the government of my country. Like, it, just, it just doesn't exist. Like, everybody has problems everywhere, right? That's not the tone of the song, though, right? The tone of the song, based on, like, the choir and the fact that they're bringing it to the light, isn't that, like, yo, this isn't, like, a woe is me. This is this is more like a call to action. This is more like, yo, like, we need to change. Like, like wake the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? That's my takeaway. And... I do think that having the choir and shit like that in the background where it sounds all uplifting will stop people from getting depressed when going and reiterating over all this bad shit that goes on. You know what I mean? Let's go. The future comes. Has changed from the beginning because in the beginning we definitely got like the way deeper John, you know what I'm saying? Can't be known until it has actually occurred. The idea that laws or models of universal validity can predict the future has to be abandoned. AQ. System failure. What are your thoughts? I don't know if we're scoring this one. Do we score this one? I feel like we can. Like normally, I try to avoid scoring on like the more serious like type tracks and stuff like that. But like, what would you change about this? What would you change? Honestly, like, what would you change about this? This track was was dope from beginning to end. Um, we'll let it go. I think it is. It's, it's probably like a cool hunter, right? It's probably like a cool hunter. Do we want to break it down? Let's break it down. Uh it's weird. When we, like, I, I don't like necessarily critiquing conscious tracks like that. But, like, you got to do some of them. And this wasn't necessarily uh, anything that was over-the-top negative. You know what I'm saying? Um, we are fans. Shout out to AQ. Made me a fan. Target audience on this one. Actually, I became a fan of AQ during the live report. I think it happened live on a reaction. Target audience for this one. Yes, let's go. <clears throat> Proper setting. This is uh, probably your 05 random, right? That's where I'm putting a lot of the conscious tracks at. Since, like they said, that's, that's like the only real issue is like so much of the conscious music, it's hard to put on a playlist because it's like, when am I, when am I bumping this? You know what I'm saying? Uh, bars of lyrics. What would you change about his bars of lyrics? 
Uh, I had to stop myself from breaking down every fucking line <laughs> halfway through this so we didn't have a 45 minute video. 25 out of 25. I don't think there's any filler. I don't think he said, you know what, the only, the, literally the only thing that I didn't like about this was in the very beginning when he's like, yo, like, we can't be putting out these trash songs. Life's too hard to put out bad songs. It's like, that just is so irrelevant compared to the, the healthcare and people dying in the streets and shit. But it's like, I wouldn't have even mentioned the bad songs. Like, that's probably the only line that I would author. It's, just a, it's not relevant to the rest of it. But, uh, delivery, I did. Solid. 25 out of 25. Nothing I wish. I, I think this is a cool hunter. I'll let you know right now. Why is the delivery? He didn't do anything that's super crazy with it, right? I do agree with that. He didn't do any type of super crazy flows, and I like that about this, right? This was about the message. If he comes in and starts chopper styling some shit, it's going to go over your head. The point of this wasn't to write something that was so cryptic and so barred up and multi-leveled that you can't even figure it out unless you're a genius like, and in the rap like that. Like, no, like this is set up to like, yo, I want to talk slowly. I want you to understand this is a message. I'm speaking to you, to everybody in a way that can be digested easily so that you can take what I'm trying to say away from this. Um, and I do, he did switch it up though. He did, like I said, he had kind of had the melody when we started getting into the different flows. That was good music theory. There's nothing I would change about it. 25 out of 25. Maybe give a little bit more light to the choir to people who were singing on that as a hook or something like that. But that's about it. Beat selection. For what it was, 15 out of 15. Sound quality, mixing, stop it. 15 out of 15. Not really anything I would change about the production on side of this. If anything, shout out to whoever made this. Uh, effectiveness. Does this mean... I'm hungry. Let's go. I want more from AQ. 10 out of 10, man. Does this make you want to listen to more from him? Yes. We are very, very excited on this side to see what happens to AQ this year. Uh, enjoyability is not necessarily the word that I would... Like, I'm not, like, enjoying this like a club track, but as far as, like, appreciation for hip-hop, for someone to be able to do this, I do. I think this is a cool 100 out of 100. That's my score. Do you agree? Do you disagree? If you disagree... I'm totally fine with that, but you got to tell me why. What, where would you deduct points from down in the comments below? I have a hard time doing anything other than 100 out of 100 for this one. I think this was 100% understood what the assignment was, came on, delivered. Uh, as always, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Let's go.